Hey there, how's it going? It is your muscle building coach, Lee Hayward. And today we're going to be kicking it old school with a chest and tricep workout using the 6x6 repetition method. And this is an old program that Vince Gironda used to use with a lot of his clients back in the day, back in the pumping iron days of bodybuilding. And how this works, the 6x6 method, is you're going to do six sets of six repetitions for each exercise, but the kicker is you're only going to rest 15 seconds between sets. So this is a very fast-paced workout, and it's going to fatigue the muscles through compounded volume and, again, lack of rest in between sets. So you're not going to have to lift super heavy weights. In fact, the weights you start with are probably going to be, you know, kind of like a, a moderate warm-up weight. But due to the fact that you're going to be doing uh, short rest periods and compounding that volume with six sets of six sets, that's going to really add up and, like I say, it'll give you a crazy pump and some unique uh, muscle stimulation and chances are you're going to be feeling some soreness in those muscles that you haven't felt in a while. So right now we're going to jump in to a complete chest and tricep workout using the 6x6 method. And we're going to start things off with a big basic compound move with the flat barbell bench press. And as was mentioned before, this is a fast-paced workout. So the first couple sets are actually going to feel pretty easy. They're actually going to feel kind of like warm-up sets. But the fatigue is going to quickly set in due to the short rest periods. Now in this video, I'm actually videotaping the rest periods, something I normally never do because it's kind of boring to watch somebody sitting on the end of the bench and resting, but I'm doing it just to show you the how short these rest periods actually are. Now for the sake of video time, I'm going to cut it short and only show a few sets of each exercise, but again, you can see that there's literally about 15 seconds of rest in between each set, and then boom, get right back down and do your next set. So this is going to compound the volume over the course of the workout and really give you an intense muscle pump and a lot of cumulative fatigue over the course of each exercise. So what I normally do here is count to 10 deep breaths and that usually takes about 15 seconds. Now if you have a stopwatch or even just a watch with a second hand, you could use that as well to help keep your rest times accurate and short so that you get the maximum benefit of the 6x6 workout. The next exercise in our chest workout is the incline bench dumbbell fly. And this is a great move for getting a full stretch throughout the pecs. And you'll notice in this entire chest workout we're actually using the positions of flexion style of training. So starting off with a mid-range compound exercise with the bench press, then moving on to a fully stretched exercise with the dumbbell fly, and then we're going to finish off with a peak contraction exercise uh, later with the cable crossover. So again, doing the same set and rep pattern, six sets of six repetitions. And when you're doing dumbbell exercises like the fly here, it's a good idea to not put the dumbbells down because that just takes up more time and it actually takes up more energy in while you're actually resting for 15 seconds so all I do is literally rest the dumbbells on my knees and keep going then for uh, like I say a short 15 second rest 10 deep breaths is what I normally take and then just lie back down and get right into the next set and you also notice here as I do the fly I like to purposely hold that fully stretched position for a split second in the bottom just to make sure that I get a good stretch throughout the entire chest. And try to relax in between these sets. I know it's a fast-paced workout and it's kind of easy to get hyped up during your sets, but purposely try to take some deep breaths and slow your breathing down, or at least slow your heart rate down by relaxing in between sets and just taking deep, slow breaths. And I find that that can help to prolong your energy over the course of getting all six sets of six reps done. An important point that I should mention here is it's okay to take a longer rest break in between exercises. I mean obviously it's going to take time to move to the next piece of equipment and to set up and all that kind of stuff. So once you start an exercise then you can keep your rest periods down to 15 seconds but it's okay to go a little bit longer than that and take a normal rest break in between each exercise. 
And moving on in our workout, we're going to do the cable crossover fly. Again, six sets of six repetitions. Now, a lot of people will probably wonder, why are we doing two fly exercises back to back? You know, it kind of seems redundant. But, in fact, these are two totally opposite exercises because when you're using dumbbells, you'll feel the majority of the strain or the tension in the bottom portion of the exercise when your chest is fully stretched. When you're using cables, it's the complete opposite. The majority of the tension is at the top when you're trying to fight and hold those handles together. So one is a stretching move and the other one is a peak contraction move. So that's what we're doing here. We're doing cable crossover flies as a peak contraction exercise for the chest. And this whole idea of positions of flexion, doing a mid-range, a fully stretched, and a peak contraction exercise for each body part is a great way to hit all ranges of motion and to really get an intense pump throughout a muscle group. So again, taking 15 seconds rest, try and relax, take deep breaths, get lots of oxygen into your system, and this will help to prolong your strength so that you can actually keep going for the entire six sets of six reps. And I should mention too that it's going to take some trial and error. I mean, your first workout should be purposely a conservative workout, starting off lighter than you normally would, and go conservative because you really don't know how exhausting this is until you get to the final sets of the six sets of six. So start off light, and then work on increasing those weights gradually with each workout. Moving on to triceps, we're going to do the tricep cable pushdown. And this is a great overall tricep move that provides both a stretch as well as a peak contraction due to the fact that you're using cable resistance. You get that constant tension throughout the entire range of motion. And it's a good idea to pair up chest and triceps in the same workout because they are complementary muscle groups. I mean, whenever you're doing a chest exercise, your triceps are coming into play as a secondary and supporting muscle, so it only, it only makes sense to pair these muscle groups up into the same workout. And just like all the exercises in this workout, we're going to do six sets of six repetitions. But for the sake of video time, I'm going to be cutting these sets short just to move on to the next exercise and keep this video flowing. So the next tricep move we're going to do is the overhead dumbbell extension. And I like this one because it allows you to work each tricep independently. And I think it's a good idea to purposely include dumbbell exercises or single limb exercises with each body part workout. And the reason for that is because it's going to help to develop symmetry between the left and the right sides. Because very often we are stronger and very often bigger in one arm than the other. So if you purposely include exercises that work each side independently, then that's going to help to develop balance and proportion over the long term. So with this one, you're going to do a set for one arm, a set for the other arm, and then take your rest in between. Now, if you do notice an imbalance where one arm is stronger than the other, purposely start with your weaker arm and make sure to do the exact same number of sets and reps for your stronger arm. And even if you feel that you've got more left in the tank with the stronger arm, don't do them. So, I mean, you're kind of going to push the, the weaker arm to the limit and you're going to hold back a little bit with your stronger arm in order to allow that weaker arm to catch up over time. What you're going to notice as you progress on through this workout is the cumulative fatigue of the high volume and the short rest periods starting to set in. So you're really going to have to push yourself later in the workout in order to get things done. And if you have to drop back on the weights, then that's fine as well. Now to finish things off, we're going to do some push-ups. And this one is really going to show you the effects of the cumulative fatigue because what is normally considered a pretty simple and basic exercise is going to prove to be quite a challenge. And for our last finishing exercise, the push-ups, what I'm trying to do is six sets of 10 reps. And 
chances are that's going to be a challenge. I haven't gotten six sets of ten yet. I usually hit failure in those last few sets. That's enough. So there you go. That's the six by six workout. It's hard. <laughs> but give it a try for yourself. Take care. Over and out. And if you'd like to get some awesome old school bodybuilding tips and tricks, then be sure to download a copy of the Vince Gironda program. This is a 334 page piece of bodybuilding history from one of the greatest trainers of all time, the Iron Guru, Vince Gironda. And this is the book that I'm currently reading right now, and I've literally been face and eyes into it. I mean, I just can't put it down because I've been enjoying it so much. And this isn't just another workout program, but rather it's an education into the way bodybuilding was back in the golden era, back in the pumping iron days. And it explains how the champs of yesterday trained and ate to build their classic physiques. I mean, it's pretty inspirational and fascinating information for any bodybuilding fan. It's one of those books that you can just get lost in. Once you start reading it, you won't want to put it down. It's that good. And right now, you can actually pick up a copy of this for yourself at a huge 50% discount over at www.vincegerondaprogram.com. And all you have to do is just click on the link that's right below this video clip, and you'll get all the details.